Hey there! I bet you are already an adding and subtracting whiz. But today, let's take a look at addition and subtraction of multi-digit or large numbers, just to make it a little more interesting. So far, you know the traditional way to add and subtract numbers. You usually align the numbers vertically, then start with the smallest place value on the right, the ones, and keep adding or subtracting. That works perfectly fine. But I want to show you some different ways that you can look at numbers in addition or subtraction. The first way is to break the numbers up into their place values. Let's take a look at an example. 527 can be broken up into 500s, 210s, and 71s. In other words, we would have 500 plus 20 plus 7. The number we are going to add to it is 361. And this can be broken down into 300s, 610s, and 1, 1. Or 300 plus 60 plus 1. Now we can add the values. Start with the 1s. 7 plus 1 is 8. And now the 10s. 20 plus 60 is 80. Great job, keep going. The 100s now. 500 plus 300, 800. And now you can put all the pieces back together. We have 8 hundreds, 8 tens, and 8 ones, or 800 plus 80 plus 8, which gives us 888. What crazy eights. Let's use the same strategy now for subtraction. 459 can be broken up into 400 plus 50 plus 9. 326 can be rewritten as 300 plus 20 plus 6. Now we can look at each of the place values and subtract them. Let's start with the 1s. 9, take away 6 is 3. Next the 10s. 50 minus 20 is 30. And finally the 100s. 400 take away 300 is 100. And we're left with 100, 30, and 3. And if you put the values back together, we get 133. Hmm, so far so good. Here's another strategy you can use. Sometimes you can adjust the numbers so that they're easier to add or subtract. Take a look at 598 plus 257. 598 is really close to 600, and 600 is a nice number to work with. But be careful, we're not actually rounding here, since rounding will change the total amount. Instead, since 598 is 2 away from 600, we're going to add the 2 to the 598 to change it into 600. Well, that looks easier to add, doesn't it? 0 plus 7 is 7. Now the tens place. 0 plus 5 is 5. And next, the hundreds place. 6 plus 2 is 8. The sum is 857. Ah, but wait a second. Remember those two that we added to the 598? Now we need to take them back from the answer. 857 minus 2 is 855. Our final answer is 855. Try adding the original numbers the traditional way, and you would get the same answer. Now it's time for subtraction. Okay, we have 71 subtracting 45. Sure, we can subtract the traditional way, but let me show you a different way that you may find easier. 71 is 1 away from 70. So let's take 1 away from 70. 70 minus 45 is 25. Ah, but what about that 1 we took away from 71? We need to add that back in to give us a final answer of 26. This strategy works really well for numbers that are close to being nice numbers, like 95, which is close to 100, or 804, which is close to 800. Remember, when you adjust a number to make it easier to work with, don't forget to also adjust the final number back to keep everything balanced. Each of these strategies are here to help you add or subtract larger numbers easily and with fewer mistakes. There's no right way to do it, and depending on the problem, 
you can choose the method that you like best. Let's practice some more to get comfortable with all the strategies. Let's start by breaking 458 into place values. That means we have 400 plus 50 plus 8. Now we can break 245 into place values also. 200 plus 40 plus 5. Let's add up those values. 8 plus 5 is 13. Oh, that's different. 13 is 110 and 3 ones. So we put the 3 down in the ones place value and take that extra 10 and add it to our tens place value numbers. Let's add our tens now. 10 plus 50 plus 40. That gives us 100. Aha, uh -huh. that 100 can be placed in the hundreds value. So we put a zero in the tens place to show that there are no tens left. And 100 plus 400 plus 200 is equal to 700. And now let's add up all the place values. 700 plus zero tens plus three ones. When we add up all those values, we get a total of 703. Great work. Woo! Awesome job adding and subtracting those large numbers. Let's review the new strategies that you've been practicing. One way to help make adding or subtracting large numbers easier is to break them into their place values and then add or subtract those. Another way is to adjust the numbers to create nicer numbers that make it easier to add or subtract. Remember though, you'll also need to adjust your final answer so that everything is balanced. You also always have the traditional way of subtracting the numbers vertically by lining up the place values too. So many ways to add and subtract numbers. Great work today, and see you next time.